Hey everybody, welcome to this uh, VHF UHF tip number 21. This is tip number 21. Uh, today, March the 14th, 2019. And on this VHF UHF tip, we're going to talk about uh, steps or tuning steps. Why? Because depending on the band that you are going to tune, you got to understand there are different steps that are used, different tuning steps. Typically, two tuning steps, three tuning steps are, are, are very popular. 5 kilohertz, 12.5 kilohertz, and 25 kilohertz. Most of the 25 kilohertz steps are in the air band, uh, so in the military air band. That's where everything is spaced 25 kilohertz apart, usually in AM mode. Uh, in the VHF range, most of what you'll listen to is... 5 kilohertz. There has been a change in, over the past years in some of the ranges of the VHF channels being modified with 12.5 kilohertz tuning steps. If you've got an old scanner like this, Pro 43 for example, it doesn't take into account the new tuning steps. It has the old tuning step of 5 kilohertz for VHF and it does default to 12.5 kilohertz in the, v, the UHF range and of course it has 25 default kilohertz in the uh, air band. <clears throat> now some you can do nothing about it that means it will sometimes especially when you're with an old scanner that has 5 kilohertz steps in a 12.5 kilohertz range you might be off frequency a little bit sometimes because of that. It shouldn't impact too much the reception uh, because these scanners usually have a filter that's wide enough that they'll you know still you'll still hear what you want but it might induce a little bit of noise because you're a little off frequency but there are receivers that you can choose for example here's two frequency ranges and here's two steps so you could see that on this one the displayed frequency 420.375 that's because the step is in 12.5 kilohertz that's why you got a an extra digit, the four digit there that's a five, is because now I'm tuning 12.5 kilohertz steps. Here I'm tuning five kilohertz steps, so you have only three digits after the dot, and it actually is a five kilohertz step that I'm using here on this range. Look at your scanner manual and look at your uh, scanner more, you know, especially if you have modern scanners uh, that are not very old. What's nice is that some of them do have. Uh, a step that you can actually pre-program. So on the Pro 43 here, the steps are default. They are pre-programmed. There's nothing you can do about it. But on a more modern and a more expensive and a more, um, I would say, with a, a scanner with more or a communications receiver with more settings, I have the TS button here, which is tuning step. If I go here, You'll notice that at the bottom, and right now it says I'm at 5 kilohertz steps. But if I change, whoops, you see that I can change the steps to whatever, um, you know, tuning step I want to tune in. Uh, what's cool is this, is that you can actually tune in very precise 10 or, one, uh, 10 or 100 hertz uh, if you want. Uh, so when you have that, it's kind of cool because you can adjust your tuning steps depending on what you're listening to and the spacing that's being used. So um, today's tip is really to look at your manual, uh, look if your scanner is capable of tuning steps that you can change or program. And if not, um, the other thing I would say is um, go on Google and you know type VHF, UHF range tuning steps. You'll see a lot of documentation online that will tell you what frequency range uses what uh, tuning step in order to uh, tune into the different signals. And that has been changed uh, in the past few years. So what was, there are VHF ranges that in the past were 5 kilohertz that have been changed to 12.5, uh, depending on the users that are on those frequency ranges. So check that out. It's possible that your scanner radio might actually have pre-programmable tuning steps or maybe just a button that will change the steps like you want. Uh, but for older scanners, like I said, a lot of them like this one, it's pre-programmed. 
and there's nothing you can do about it, but don't worry, it's still okay. But it's still cool to understand that there are uh, different tuning steps and different frequency ranges uh, on the VHF UHF range. If you enjoy my tips, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.